guys, welcome to W and L Review. Today we are reviewing the movie Titanic. It is a 1997 movie. It is rated PG-13, and it's directed by James Cameron and John Lando. Uh, it stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet, Billy Zane, Kathy Bates, and Francis Fisher, as well as many, many, many others that I could be here for three more weeks trying to tell you everybody that's in the movie. But I'm not glad. And with that, I'll let my daughter tell you about the movie. So, if you have never seen Titanic, I don't know where you've been. It's been never out there wrong. for a while. You know. That was just rude. Um, anyways. They, they have an opinion, too, apparently. But it was, it is a great movie. It, of course, follows the whole premise of the actual story of the Titanic ship. No. That sank. No. No. Say it ain't so. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I always blanked on the names of people. But, um, I will say, in my opinion, it being rated PG-13, it should probably go up a rating because of the draw me like one of your French girls scene. <laughs> You yeah. know? Yeah. It probably it's, should go up and to, if like, And you don't our... know what we're talking about, when you see the movie, you'll know. <laughs> you'll know. You'll know. And, um... Yeah. It, of course, like I said, follows the whole premise of how the <laughs> Titanic sank and all of the events <laughs> leading up to it and many of the people that were on the ship and the treatment of different classes of people, like where they were placed and how they were evacuated or... Or not. not evacuated while the mm -hmm. ship was sinking. And it also goes into what the staff did wrong in looking, in the scouts looking for an iceberg, or in the speed of the Titanic and how fast it was going, and all of that. Mm -hmm. And how much notice they had before, and how they were trying to contact other ships, and other ships, or how they put up the wrong flare signals so. Yeah. All the problems that happened that night. All these things that... I could go on for do. hours talking about this movie. Because it is, I believe, a two-hour film. Yeah, a little over two hours. Yeah. So I could go on for a long time explaining this film. Mm -hmm. But it basically covers all of those issues and all of those problems that were faced. And this cast is absolutely amazing. If you've heard of any of these actors and actresses, you'd know that they are very good actors and actresses. And this is just, it's a great film. I would say probably, yeah, I guess, if you're going to show it, like, the youngest, you should show a child this movie would probably, I guess, yeah, be 13. But honestly, I would go up and have them be older. Or... Or if you're going to show it to them when they're thick, 13, <laughs> skip past <laughs> the scene that I talked about earlier. <laughs> but with that being said, I'll let my mom tell you her opinion. Okay. It is a really good movie, and um, it, it has the storyline in there that's, like, that's threaded through. So, you know, you get Titanic, and then you get, like, this, this love story uh, that's kind of threaded through the whole movie. Um, Jack, who is played by Leonardo DiCaprio, he is um, um, he's a poor boy. He's poor. He's just so poor. And he's in st steerage. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's in the lower decks. The poor people go. And he's out on the on the the deck one day and uh, Rose, who is played by Kate Winslet, comes out and he's just smitten. Imme immediately just smitten by her. And and one of the boys is like, yeah, yeah right. You're not going to have, there's no chance you're going to have a chance with her. I mean, she's like head and shoulders above you. There's no way. And, you know, he doesn't... It, 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 it doesn't comprehend because it's like, no, he's... He's smitten. Um, and in the meantime, 
Nathan, who is played by Billy, Billy Zane, uh, comes to the area where Rose is, and he grabs her by the arm, and she's, of course, upset, and, you know, he, Jack is like, you know, I wonder what's going on, you know, and, uh, the couple nights, doesn't really say when, um, uh, just like William, sorry, uh, anyway, doesn't say when it happens, but there is a, uh, cotillion or some sort of, like, party up in the prestigious floor, you know, the, the, the high-ranking floor, and Rose is there, and she just bolts, um, she realizes that this is her life, and, I mean, yeah, it's nice, you, you're rich, but is it really, is it really what you want, you know, and so she, runs out, and it's like, it's nighttime, it's cold, and she's wearing this beautiful gown, and she runs past, and she goes, and she's going to jump off the boat, or the ship, the boat, the ship, the back end, the bow, bow, I don't know, All right, anyway, she's going to jump off the back end of the, of the ship, and in the meantime, Jack is laying out on the on a bench on the deck and he, you know, sees her run by and he happens to be at the right place at the right time and this is how they get to know each other and he saves her you know, he brings her back over. Unfortunately you know people got the wrong idea and they they put they, they, they made assumptions where there shouldn't have been. Anyway, uh, everybody gets called, the, 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 um, police get called, and, uh, Nathan's, uh, bodyguard, you know, is kind of a, he's an ex-cop, and he's kind of, you know, a stickler for, things and he 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 says it's funny how she jumped over the edge and yet you still had time to remove your jacket and your shoes and uh, basically assuming that uh, jumping to the assumption that there was some sort of hanky panky going on and rose is kind of upset with nathan in that you know basically he wants to just throw this this young man like a $50 bill, and she's like, that's the going rate for saving the girl you love? That's it? And it's kind of this, you know, this kind of thing, and so he says, well, maybe you'd like to come to dinner with us, and unbeknownst to him, Jack actually accepts. And the next day, him and Rose kind of spend the day together, walk on the, um, the deck, and you know, get to know each other, and, uh, she runs into her mother, who basically cannot stand Jack and wants him gone, wants him squashed, and, um, her, her mother, I don't, I can't remember her mom's name, but her, her, the person that plays her is Frances Fisher, and she plays a doozy, uh, she's not very nice, um, and Kathy Bates, who plays the encyclable Molly Brown, um, she basically tells Jack, do you know what you're getting yourself into? You're, you're about to go into the lion's den here, you know? And what are you going to wear, you know? And he's like, eh, what I got on, you know? And she's like, no, that's not going to work. So, you know, it's just kind of this push-pull kind of thing. And... Um, he goes to the, to the dinner party-ish, the, the dinner. Anyways, he goes there and he, and, and, you know, it's obvious that Frances Fisher's character does not like Jack. She makes it obvious during the dinner. She says a few things and, you know, uh, that are just like, I can't believe she said that. And just silly, you know, um. Uh, 
yes, there is the, well, they go, Jack says, well, if you really want to have some fun, come, come meet me at the stairs, and I'll show you some real fun. So then they go down to the, down to steerage, and they go to a party where there's dancing, and there's beer, and all this, and they have fun, and then it's, paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Or draw me like one of your French... Anyway, that's a scene. It's like, okay, we need to fast forward, you know. But, um, it is a very good movie. It's long. And, you know, they, they, there, there is some factual things in there. Kind of stuck in there, here and there. Um, there, as far as I know, now I have looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. And looked. Through the years, because I love the I, I I don't know I love Titanic the idea the the romanticism of it I guess. Um, anyway, there was a rose on Titanic, but it wasn't the rose Dewitt Bacater. It was a different one. Now Jack Dawson, there you know they they didn't have names of people that were in steerage because. They didn't. They didn't matter. Um, it was the people that were of high ranking that had the names in the logs. Um, there, um, Jacob Astor was on the ship. There was. Um, I mean, I could sit here and tell you, but I, I like I said, they do have some factual things in the movie and they have some other things that to make the movie go further um kathy bates character who is the unsinkable molly brown she really was on the titanic and the reason she got the name the unsinkable molly brown was because she did not sink when she was on the titanic or on the other ship that she was on that sank i don't know the britannica something like that no, she was on the Titanic. But then they went to the Britannica yeah. after, I think. It doesn't matter, but my point is is that she was she's a real person. And it was neat that they put the real story, you know, some of the real information in there along with, you know, some of this other stuff. I think they could have done really well if they would have done that scene of the you know, draw me like one of your French girls, if they would have just started it and then cut it. I mean, because, you know, I am a woman. I don't need to see some other breastuses on the scene. I just don't. Thank you very much. Um, it is a really good movie. Uh, hmm. else to say. I mean, I could come up with a lot of things of, like, miscellaneous. But anyway, with that being said, I I will say thank you so very, very much for all our subscribers, new and the ones that have been with us from the beginning. And, um, th thank you to that Nate guy on YouTube and Life Unboxed as well for being, not just being um, supporters of our channel, but also being our friends. And um, if anybody wants to join our Patreon, the link will be in the description below. And with that, guys, we'll say we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.